Disney Cruise Line has often been a very pricey cruise line, and a lot of people take some of the other cruise line options to try to save a little extra money. So why is Disney Cruise Line so expensive, and is it worth all that extra money? Well, we're going to give you our opinion. I was trying to think of a way to give you a side-by-side -side comparison to show you the difference between the other cruise lines that we've been on, as well as Disney Cruise Line. However, Disney is just that. They're different. And there is no fair way to really do a side-by-side -side comparison to show you. It's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. So I want to just tell you and show you from some clips that I have the difference in Disney versus the other cruise lines. And then also tell you from our experience, is it worth that extra money? Disney really goes out of their way to give you that VIP feeling. From the moment that you walk on, they get your family name and they announce you and all the cast members are lined up and clap and cheer for you and your family and welcoming you onto the ship. It's a pretty amazing experience. Another thing that was really neat was our steward for our room knew our name before we even got to the room. We were walking down the hall and he hollers, hey, welcome Wheatley family. And it was just, I was amazed that they put that much effort into learning the people that are on the ship and getting to know you. From the first time that we stepped on a Disney cruise, it's just a different atmosphere than what you find on most other cruises. Uh, another thing that Disney does that's totally different than any other cruise line I've been on is if you are a alcohol drinker or a beer drinker more specifically, you're allowed to bring a six pack of beer per adult in the stateroom on the ship with you to keep in your room. You don't even have to hide it. And when you're at the other ports of call, when you get off, if you find a beverage there that you really like and you want to bring another six pack on, they will let you do that. So if you don't want to pay the extremely high prices that uh, you might find on Disney Cruise Line or any other cruise line for some beer, you can bring a little bit on with you and bring some more on at the ports of call. So let's talk about Disney's shows and entertainment. Now, Disney does offer a large variety of different types of shows and entertainment throughout the entire cruise ship. And yes, most are geared towards uh, family. However, they do offer a large variety of shows for adults as well later on in evening hours. Besides their Broadway style shows like Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin, they also have a onboard movie theater where you can go see some of the Disney classics or even some of the brand new releases just out in theaters. Some of the other cruise lines that we've been on, we really struggled to find things to do throughout the day, but we didn't have that issue at all on Disney. Some of the other cruise lines that we've been on, they charge for some of the entertainment and they really didn't have anything else going on at that time. Whereas Disney, they even have entertainment that overlaps. So you're never really struggling to find something to do. They always have something going on and it's all included. Even the movie theater is included. Disney was great about offering such a variety of entertainment throughout the day, especially on sea days. As a family, we really liked that. We were able to go do things together that wasn't just sitting around a pool or out by the pool deck watching one of the uh, movies on the big screen outside. Of all the Disney ships that we've been on, we've never been bored on a Disney cruise. Matter of fact, we've struggled sometimes trying to find which activity we wanted to go do because there was so many that intrigued us. Now let's talk about one of my favorite things, food. One of the things that I really like about Disney Cruise Line is the variety of specialty restaurants that they have included in the price. Most cruise lines only have a couple of restaurants that they include in the price, and the rest of them are extra. And typically, these are just the main dining room that's open um, lunch and evening and sometimes breakfast, or they have the buffet that you can go to. And really, that's it, unless you want to pay extra for something different. Disney, on the other hand, has several themed restaurants, and the best thing is you rotate to each restaurant on different nights during your assigned dinner time. So whenever, uh, for instance, if you're on a different cruise line and maybe you have a five o'clock or eight o'clock dinner time, Disney works the same way. You show up and they tell you on your card, at least the ones we've had in the past, it's on there which night and which um, dining room that you would be at. So you just go to your assigned dining room at your allotted time and you're in a different restaurant. 
One of the really neat things about rotating the restaurants is your wait staff goes with you. They are with you the entire time of the cruise. And they get to know you on a personal level and start treating you like a family. They learn your likes, your dislikes, and even what uh, maybe they can recommend you based on what you like and what you don't like if you don't understand exactly what's on the menu or maybe what the items are. All the wait staff that we've had on across all the Disney Cruise Lines have been absolutely amazing. Uh, they treat our kids like long lost uncle and just have a great time with them, telling jokes. Some of them may do some magic tricks and they always have some way of interacting with the kids there that just really elevate the experience. So like I said, each restaurant is themed. So while you're eating, you may even have a show going on. From Rapunzel's Royal Table, where Rapunzel and her friends are acting out a scene from the movie, to the animator's palette. Here you get to draw a character, and they bring it to life through the magic of animation. It was really neat, and the kids loved it. And you never know when Mickey and the gang might show up to entertain you as well. Most cruise lines are starting to charge for room service now, but not Disney. Theirs is still complimentary. So if you want something in the middle of the night, a midnight snack, maybe a Disney Mickey bar before you go to bed, order up room service from their large variety that they have on their room service menu, and they'll deliver right to your door, and again, free of charge. Disney has put themselves on a whole nother playing field when it comes to the dining experience on a cruise ship. I have not been on another cruise line that even comes close to what Disney has to offer. When it comes to the kids club area, maybe on some cruise lines, they don't have a lot to offer, but not on Disney. They have some really, I don't know how else to say it, awesome themed kids rooms that make us even kid at heart adults wish that we could stay and play for a while. Both my kids really loved the kids' rooms on the Disney Cruise Line. They said one of their favorite parts was some of the characters would show up and play with the kids from time to time. And one of my daughter's favorite memories was that Stitch showed up and she got to make some uh, putty with Stitch. And she still talks about that. So the sad thing is, unfortunately, they won't let adults stay and play with the characters or all the neat toys that they have in there to offer. But no worries, you as an adult still have your own place that you can go that is pretty amazing as well. Disney does have adult sections of the ship that you can go to with your own pools and bars, clubs, and they even have uh, own adult restaurants that you can go to. So if you just want to drop the kids off over in the kids club area and then go have some kid free time, well, you have your own area that you can do that. Or if you're one of those people that have always wanted to take a Disney cruise, but thought it was mainly for families and kids and that you just didn't want that type of environment. Well, yes, Disney is themed around families. However, adults can go and have just as much fun on a Disney cruise line when with all the extra activities they have and the adult section where you can get away from that if you don't want to be around all the kids. So if you are an adult and you've been on the fence about taking a Disney cruise because you don't have kids or you just don't want to be around that, I can assure you, you can have just as much fun. I think one of the great things about the Disney Cruise Line is the character meet and greet areas. If you've ever been to a Disney theme park, you know how hard it can be sometimes to get to see some of your or your kids' favorite characters. On a Disney Cruise Line, the characters are everywhere and you never know when they're going to pop up. They do have a lot of scheduled appearances and the lines move fast. They'll have several characters in these areas so you can get in line and you can see a lot of your favorite characters in just a short period of time. As well as you can be on the ship just hanging out by the pool and Goofy may show up in his swim gear and just walk around the pool. We've seen Donald and Daisy as well hanging out by the pool and Goofy was even playing basketball with some of the kids clubs up on the basketball court. If you or your kids are really into Disney characters, Disney Cruise Line is a great way to see a lot of them in a short period of time. So not only are the specialty restaurants included in the price of the cruise, but Disney also includes their soda package. And so like most cruise lines, if you want to have the soda package, you have to pay extra and 
if you have a lot of people in your room, that could quickly add up and become pricey. However, Disney has chose to make that included in the price. So if you want a soda, you can get it at any time and it's included. By the time that you figure in all of the things that Disney includes in their price, from their drink packages, specialty restaurants, VIP experience, entertainment, character meet and greets, and just the overall environment feeling, you can see why Disney costs more than other cruise lines. So the question is, is Disney Cruise Line worth the money? I would have to say, yes. You know, I was very reluctant at first to spend this kind of money on a Disney cruise. Then I realized after being there, I'm not spending the money on a cruise. I'm spending this money on an experience because I have not found another cruise that can compete with just this feeling that you get on a Disney cruise. This was just an elevated experience that I haven't gotten anywhere else. I believe if you take a Disney cruise, you're going to be hooked and you're definitely going to see the difference that I'm talking about. I have taken several Disney cruises now and I have a fantastic experience every single time and I know you will as well. I know that there's a lot more to Disney Cruise than we talked about here, from their private island to a lot of the destinations that they go to. We just wanted to give you a quick overview about the cruise line itself and the difference from all the other cruise lines that we've been on. So I hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe, and we will see you on the next adventure.